Uh, so, the story. Okay. The story sparked because I mentioned IKEA. And I currently have a cupboard upstairs on IKEA. So, what's the deal? Uh, I'm from the Netherlands, Shadow. And guest, thank you much for the biddies, baby. Um, I've always told people that I am terrible at IKEA. And every single time, the response is, oh, don't worry about it. IKEA. Everybody can do IKEA, right? Everybody can do IKEA. Who can't do IKEA? That's ridiculous. It's just Lego. Exactly, Eric. I've been told that exact thing. It's just Lego. Just follow the manual. And you'll be fine, right? So, I got myself... I got myself a lovely little wine bottle rack. And the wine bottle rack has like three steps. <laughs> Yesterday morning, with enthusiasm in my heart, I decided to unwrap the bottle rack and get going. I was like, I got this. I got this. You know, I got this. It's three steps. How hard can it be? I, di <laughs> I didn't get past step one. So, how the... Okay, hang on. We need props for this. Hang on. I got this. No, I put those in the back of <laughs> Yeah. Mm -hmm. <sighs> okay. I'm, I'm happy it just brings you joy. That's what I'm happy about. <laughs> so. It will always bring me joy. <laughs> so, um, what I, what I tried to build was like a wine rack, yeah? But we ended up, it was like a stepping ladder for a really tiny person. That's what I made. Like, if you ever need a little ladder, that's fine. So the idea is, nah, I got it, I got it, I got it. Okay. So the idea is, um, you got like, Okay, so we'll have to use our imagination, right? So the idea is, there's like little holes in the wood. And in the instructions, we had like the little wooden knobs that you put in there, right? So, in my brain, I was like, cool, wooden knobs, holes, I got this. Let me start working. Not realizing that there was already one plank in there pre hold I didn't have to stick the wood in there. The wood, it was, if you wanted to put... Um, if you wanted to put two on top of each other and connect them, that's where you would use the wooden sticks. Now, realizing my mistake, I then tried to fix my mistake. So I get the tweezers out and I try to pull out the wood. But, dear viewer, I no longer knew which one was the pre-wood and which one was the one that I did. So the first one I try and it was the pre-wood one and it breaks. So now, one of my parts has a little broken piece of wood that I'm trying with my screwdriver, I'm trying to empty out. I'm like, okay, I remade the hole. So I go back to the other one, and I try to pull out the wood. I got three out of four clean out. The fourth one was stuck. So, I spent another ten minutes trying to get that stupid wood out. But here's the kicker. You know what happens to pre-drilled holes if you stick wood through them? They lose their screwiness. So when I tried to add the screws to it, there was nothing to screw in anymore. And at that point, half an hour later, I was like, you know what? I can't do Ikea. Okay. <laughs> I can't do Ikea. <laughs> glue. I've been recommended glue or duct tape. I've been recommended it, but honestly, th there's only going to be one bottle holder that's going to fit anyways. It cost me like five bucks or ten bucks to buy this. But it was just more... To the point of people don't believe me when I say I have two left hands. They're like, why do you pay someone to put your IKEA together? And I'm like, I, I, <laughs> I can't do this. All right. I'd rather have someone else do it. <laughs> Anglubet is here. You giggle. She, Anglubet, she took the piss out of me. So the next half hour, she was just laughing at me like, <laughs> Up step one. Ah, ha, ha, ha. <laughs> How do you fuck up step one? 
Rightfully so. 